Hey everybody, welcome to Hell's Kitchen Recap. Maddie's still away. So last time Robert left, so Judge Ramsey didn't really have to eliminate anybody, so he was able to give Ben a second chance. Great. Advice for Ben? Just say you were wrong, Ben. Just say you were wrong. <laughs> Alright, so it's time for the reward challenge. The chef hopefuls come into the kitchen and Gordon's cooking up like three different dishes. A duck, a beef, and a fish stew. So he's like, taste it, taste it. So they're all eating it and of course they all like the fish stew. Except for Danny. He's not a big fan of fish because he cooks it all the time. So he liked the duck. But it's called taste it, now make it. So uh, they have to make the fish one. Sorry, Danny, nobody cared. Uh, they have a half hour to recreate the fish dish. So there's all these choices. I mean, you they're not telling you what's in it. it the ingredients are all contained in Hell's Kitchen, but you're going to have to figure them out and in what quantity. So uh, they kind of went through the main ingredients. Was it red snapper? Was it halibut? Was it bay scallops? Was it giant scallops? Was it uh, what kind of uh, liquor was in it? Was it white wine? Was it something else? So yeah, it was pretty complicated actually when you get down to it. So um, right off the bat, Danny was the only one who got that it was red snapper and not halibut. And Andrew was eliminated. She used the wrong scallops. She didn't even see the bay scallops in there. Hello? Did you look? Uh, ben made everybody's lips yellow because he used too much damn saffron. So he was out. So it came down to Danny and Paula. And it was a tough decision. They both looked really similar. And according to Ramsey, they both taste re tasted really similar. So... I guess uh, the correct thing to do would be to use the fish stock, which Danny did and Paula did not. So Danny won. Finally, Danny has been so close for so long, it was about time he finally won one of the reward challenges. So guess what, losers? Got to polish all the silverware and the crystal and clean the carpet and prep for service because we're open tonight. And Danny, well, Danny got a pair of goggles and uh, Gordon's like, chop, chop, the limo's waiting. So they jump in the limo and they go to the airport and it's friggin' biplane fighting. <laughs> or like biplane adventure trip. And it was kind of crazy. Uh, I would not go in those biplanes and do like those death spiral dives and stuff with the G-forces. Uh-uh, no thanks, that's not my idea of a reward. But it looked pretty fun if you like that kind of stuff. In fact, Gordon was like, bloody hell, fantastic. So there's a surprise in the dorms right before service. So I, I got all excited. Maybe it's family. So they all go, and they're probably thinking that too, because they're like dying. They haven't seen their families in forever. So they all go running up there, and what is it? Boxes of Gordon's new sexy cookware. Great. You know, I really have got to give them a hand because they really did a good job kissing Gordon's ass on how great his cookware was and how happy they were to get it. Yeah, so it's time for a fresh start. As of right now, the slate is wiped clean. So let's have a great service, right Gordon? Right away, Ben called out the wrong order. Are you trying to suck? Did anybody else catch the gratuitous boob shot where it was like, hey, look at her entree. What? There's two of them. Ugh, it was so cheap. So everything was going great. Ben was total asses and elbows. He even, you know, was like, hey, he kicked the tire, he lit the fire, and then he effed up. So Ben's food was bland. And then uh, Gordon was having a heart attack about that. And then he said he wanted a plain salad for somebody who was a vegetarian. Ben's like, do you want tuna in that? <laughs> no. Vegetables. He's like, give me a plain salad. Did you go to school? That was probably like day one of culinary school. Salads. You don't even have to friggin' cook it. And do you know what plain means? It means you don't put all the shit in it. <laughs> so somebody's getting proposed to in the dining room. 
giant guy has a special request. He wants to propose to his girlfriend. He comes over with his ring, and Gordon's trying it on. I thought that was a nice touch. And I uh, ah, get the dome. Come on. Puts it under there, and she said yes. Thank God. Because it would have been World War III, I'm sure, if he hadn't. If she hadn't. So, Gordon puts the kibosh on it. It's the best service ever. Until Ben starts screwing up. He forgot to put the pasta in the water, held everybody else up. Andrea is short two Wellingtons. Hello, I think she's short a little bit more than two Wellingtons. So, finally, we're there. Complete service. Gordon was pretty disappointed with the ending of service. You know, it started out really well, and then it went pear-shaped pretty quickly toward the end. Uh, go back to the dorms, kids and agree on one person to be eliminated. So you know how it goes. Ben's certainly not going to pick himself, and Andrea's certainly not going to pick herself, and no way does Danny and Paula deserve to be picked at all. So um, it, there's this controversy about uh, Andrea has run a kitchen of one. <laughs> Come on, you just got out of culinary school. How many kitchens do you think you're really running, and how many people are in it? Maybe just you? Did you cook for your cat? So, they go in front of Gordon, and he's like, all right, what's the consensus? No consensus, chef. You know, all right, Ben and Andrea, step forward. So Ben goes first. Why should you stay? Well, I have more to offer than Andrea. So Andrea's like, uh, yeah, what he said, and, uh, yeah, what he said. I'm, I'm well-rounded. <laughs> so it's the old Andrea fake-out. Andrea, you're staying. That means Ben is leaving, and he actually got a nice compliment from uh, Gordon, which I was surprised because uh, I really thought he hated his guts pretty bad. Now it's the best of the best. We're down to the final three. That would be Danny, Andrea, and Paula. So next week, surprise kids, VIPs, that's the good news. Is it finally going to be family? I really hope so because these people are dying here. The bad news? You're going to have to cook for them. That sucks. Because I'm sure if it's family, you'll have to cook for, like, the opposite person's family. And they're going to be harsh. You know they are. So, this cannot be missed. We save the best for last. Andrea puts on her assertive panties. Till next time, much love.